Yo, what up YouTube, Rotocut Gaming here, bringing you another cryptocurrency related video. And this time I'm gonna go through the steps of installing this, Simple Mining OS, onto this, a $13 USB 3 flash drive. So follow my steps, why am I doing this? I'm having a lot of issues with uh, Windows operating system on uh, 3080 Ti. I've been dealing with it for quite some time and I'm gonna use a more stable OS, Linux, right? It, it's, it's a lot more stable, it's a lot more usable. Uh, remotely yeah you can change your settings you don't have to deal with software updates that might break you know your system any any given moment so I'm gonna go through the steps and show you through and through how to download the software how to install it and how to get it up and running all right so here we go before we get into it some things to consider about simple mining what is simple mining it's a plug-and-play Linux based operating system similar to Hive OS this is a different flavor so um, you know, you, there's options out there. Yeah, it's, a, it's free to use for 30 days. If you like it, great. If, and then you can continue using it. If not, you know, you can move on to the next one. You can continue using Hive or, or Windows. Um, why do I use it? Well, in 2018, I paid for a lot of months of usage and I stopped using it in 2018 and I came back to it and I still have, you know, quite a few more months left, uh, left on my contract, so to speak. But, uh, it's not a contract, it's just I deposited it way more than I needed it. And, and that's why I'm using it. I'm, I'm gonna use it until it runs out. Um, what does it support? A, uh, NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. That's uh, right now the, 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 the only GPUs that it uses. And it, 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 you can't use Intel or anything like that. Just, you know, and, and nobody really does, but the, the website really lays out what, what's available. And you can mine any any algorithm on it it's it's easy to use you can download all these programs and that's the premise of, of the operating system that you don't have to you know go to all the different websites and try to download from here that no no it's all in one centralized place and you're able to download them and, and, and tinker with them and not lose any time all right so what are the requirements you do need a 7 plus gigabyte flash drive I don't recommend that go 16 gigabytes or, or higher you're gonna be, if you're gonna be tinkering with a lot of programs you're gonna be downloading a lot and it could you know bog down your memory so just go 16 plus I went 32 gigabytes and that should be more than enough um, what are the benefits like I said you can you can just download the latest and greatest uh, the operating system is con constantly being updated. You can get the latest programs, latest uh, miners, and 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 you don't have to deal with uh, websites or downloading and replacing executable files or batch files or anything like that. So it's that's the benefit of using that. Some of the deficiencies are, um, but mainly what I've seen is the Wi-Fi access. So if you have a motherboard and all, and and if you're using Windows and if you just want to convert to simple mining and you think okay you know it's gonna see my Wi-Fi uh, uh, signal it's not so Wi-Fi adapters are, are just one or two that they're compatible with but mostly you want to use your Ethernet line so that's one of the efficiencies that I know uh, that I noticed cost wise so this thing is roughly two dollars per month per rig so if you have you know three four rigs it's gonna cost you two to two to two, four, six, eight dollars, depending on however many you have. And uh, you can deposit. You can only pay using crypto payments. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. I use Litecoin. It's cheap. It's cheap transactions, fast. And that's how I was able to fund my simple mining account back in 2018, and it still works. So they've been around. So you you know you're sure that you're gonna be. Uh, you, rest, you can rest assured that you're going to be using a service that, that's going to be long lasting. All right, so how do you download this thing? The, the website is pretty straightforward. If you have uh, an NVIDIA based um, video card, there's a image that you can download. Um, or if you have AMD series, you can download that as well. And then also because you have a, a brand new flash drive, you got to flash the image onto the flash drive. There's a program called Etcher and you can um, go through this process fairly fairly quickly let me let me walk through it I already download them but I already downloaded them but flash uh, this this Balena etcher flash utility uh, I downloaded the Windows X86 x64 version and it's a pretty f simple process like I mentioned I already downloaded it let me let me bring it up on the screen 
All right, so the first thing, pretty simple GUI, graphics user interface. Uh, I will identify the flash file. I put it everything on my downloads folder and the image file ends with a dot img dot xz and that's how you know it's it's a funky os image you open it um, the target once you plug in your your flash drive it's only going to recognize that one typically you don't want to put it on any other devices that might wipe your operating systems or your files or what have you just make sure that you're, you're choosing the right one in this case i know it's it's a sand disk uh, 3.2 USB uh, flash drive so I'm good so you select it and boom just click on flash just wait a little bit it's gonna take some time depending on on how fast the the transfer of the files take place uh, it could be five minutes but as you can see mine is is about a minute because I have USB 3.0 before on another rig I, I use USB 2.0 and it took me a good 15 minutes um, so this one is fairly quickly, but I'll pause the video and I'll resume once once it's done and I'll show you uh, one more step before you plug it into your into your rig. So this thing finished flashing the fla uh, the, the drive for you. So I uh, I think I missed or here we go. Yes. So there was a message that says, hey, you need to format the disk drive. So what happens is after it's done flashing, it kind of recognizes there's there's a new a flash drive on the drive and it says hey you gotta reformat it cancel out of this thing can't just cancel out of these two uh, messages and you know don't don't click on that ignore this little message just cancel or click OK one more step you gotta do is just take out the flash drive and reinsert it back into the USB slot and you're gonna see all these prompts and messages and once you see them just ignore them press cancel okay cancel okay and if you notice if you go to your your PC there's gonna be a SM, SMOS config drive and that's how you know it, it properly flashed the right operating system and on the config you just go into it click on edit and then uh, the email address that you used uh, if you signed up for simple mining and you used an email address that's your account and what you have to do is just enter that here so whatever it is you know it could be um, hulk at avengers.com right whatever email address you used put it in here make sure that it's 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 in this little user email field because all these other um, pound or hash uh, signs that means that it's, it's just notes on the configuration file and like I mentioned before, the Wi-Fi enable, just leave that at zero if you're using Ethernet. If you're using one, you got to do the, your homework as, as to, you know, which adapter you have, it's, if it's compatible with the operating system. But don't bother with that, I'm telling you. Anyway, so, so do that. Make sure you save it. And that's it as far as the configuration. Just take it out and dump it in your uh, USB port in your mining rig and uh, make sure that you have uh, internet running to it and, and I'll walk you through the steps on how to make sure that, that your uh, uh, simple mining web utility or the web page is able to see that rig. Let's go through that, those steps. And actually before we turn on the rig, one thing that I recommend is once you created your account and you're inside simple mining's uh, website, you wanna what well, you wanna set up if you know which video card you're gonna be running or which video cards in your rig, you wanna set up your mining your miner ahead of time and also the type of overclock settings that you wanna run them at. So what you can do is once you are on the website, you can go to this group configuration file. Uh, there's four by default already loaded. So what you wanna do is create a new one. I'm going to call it uh, 3080, right? 3080 Ti, just for the sake of, of this exercise. Oh, not, not this. 3080 Ti. A minor program, I'm going to be using the NB Miner. That's the latest and greatest that came out. Uh, version 39.6. I'm going to be mining Ethereum on it on a 3080 Ti LHR. And I am going to paste uh, this code. Um, I already copied it, but it's basically 
um, the, the the settings that the miner needs to run and which pool it's going to connect to. I'm going to be using the ether mine ether mine pool. So already set up right here. Let it, and I'm using the LHR mode one uh, for this configuration. So I'm saving it and then on the group OC, I'm going to add a new one for uh, an NVIDIA video card, right? So 3080 Ti right here. Uh, notes, I'm going to leave it the same, 3080 Ti. Core megahertz for my particular one. I have an FTW3, negative 200. Memory uh, megahertz, 3000, which is 1500 on Windows. And power limit, I will leave that uh, at 280. Um, and then minimum fan speed, I'm going to put that at 80% for, for this exercise. So now that I have the configuration for the miner that I want to utilize and the overclock setting, um, it'll be easier to configure once the, the rig is running uh, because it, you're going to be going through a bunch of BS that you don't want to go through. Uh, all right, so let's turn it on and see what it'll what it'll, what it will look like and I'll walk you through the steps of getting that rig up and running. So I just turned on the, the rig. I'm gonna let the operating system kick in. Uh, motherboard is flashing. If, you, if your motherboard is set up to boot from USB um, drives then that little window is gonna pop up. All right and it's gonna wait for an IP to be generated. Um, so if it's your first time booting it, it's going to take a little bit and it took it for my case, we're in business. It doesn't have a, um, a miner loaded, but as you can see, it says that it's running miner Phoenix miner. That's not what I want to run in uh, to, to this particular rig. So what I, what we should do is go back it, uh, to the mining up um, setup on simplemining.net it already detected uh, against this account that this miner is tied to it so I didn't really need to add the rig so it was done automatically sometimes you kind of have to go through this add rig um, nonsense but in this case it you didn't have to do it alright so how do I mine the Ethereum with the settings that I chose um, on the rig here it's called no name FA2E, which is nonsense. So we want to click on this little gear right here. We want to change the group configuration to a 3080 Ti. And then the rig overclock, we want to click rig uh, group OC and then 3080 Ti. And it's got the settings that I chose before. Save and reload. Okay, so now you can click on this little I over here and um, this miner should be able to be running NB miner. It, sh it should download it and apply your overclock settings. As you can see, it's working. It's doing it now. You just gotta give it about a, a minute. It takes. It's, it's got like a 60 second timer before your true overclock settings kick in. Uh, that's why you see this little timer. 40 seconds left. Even though it's mining right now, it's using some other settings. Um, just just let it let it do its its thing and then it should be mining in no time all right so 20 seconds left right now we see on the on the graphics inter uh, user interface 78 mega hash on the actual computer um, it shows 74 but the overclock settings still haven't kicked in we'll we'll give it a second 10 seconds left and I believe right now it should kick in. So if you typed in your overclock settings correctly um, with the new NB Miner 39.6, a 3080 Ti per se is going to be um, hashing at around, at around 88, 89, or maybe 90 mega hash, uh, depending. But in simple terms, this is how you set up Simple Mining OS and um, this is where the fun this is where the fun starts you, you start downloading different programs you start downloading uh, or updating different overclock settings for different cards for different algorithms 
and as you can see just click in the group OC the group config and the group OC settings uh, you're able to tinker uh, on the fly instead of downloading programs off of websites and executable files and batch files and all that nonsense here they simplify it uh, Hive OS is it's got its own little intuitive system I'm not well versed in it this is the, the one that I do know and that's why I made this tutorial for people that are curious about it because I've seen ads for simple mining all over the internet and um, not a lot not a lot of recent tutorials of how this operates so this is why I made it all right well uh, that's it if there's anybody out there that has any questions about it let me know I might have missed a few steps that's fine shoot me a question I'll try to reply try to include some steps and screenshots and you know help you out and um, we'll get to mining all as a group all right appreciate it thanks for checking out my video and I'll see you on the next one peace